Hello, I am Lisa Fansler. Today I'm going to go over how to calibrate the Snyder Intensive Care Unit. That way you can get it ready for a new patient. First and foremost, before we get started, we always want to make sure that we change the soda lime, empty the drip tray, and ensure that the coil is as dry as we possibly can. So we're going to open the B door compartment. We will take out the soda lime tray, discard it, and then refill it. For the purposes of this video, since we are not getting this ready for a patient, I'm not going to refill it because while it is not being used, we don't want to have soda lime in the machine because that can cause extra heat, which can lead to condensation, which then develops in our coil and can cause more, con more problems. Now we're going to empty the drip tray. We're gonna fold the two flaps inward and then pull it out. We're gonna make sure that it's dry. If it needs dumped, we can dump it in the sink. Then we can take a towel and we can touch the bottom side of the coil. If our hand is wet, then we continue to dry by patting the underside all the way down. So you can get a towel, reach all the way in to the very, very back, and then just gently pat the underside, trying to get all the moisture to come up down into the towel. Once that has been been completed, you can then put the drip tray back in. You want to make sure that the flaps are folded outwardly, that way it can catch any moisture. Once you have that, now we can actually start the calibration process. We're going to close the B door compartment, and then we're going to open both of the patient compartment doors. The reason we're opening both compartment doors is we need the inside of the patient compartment to uh, calibrate and equalize with the environment of the room before we do calibration. Say for instance, you have a patient in there and they're on a high percentage of oxygen and you open it but then quickly calibrate, it's going to calibrate to that higher percentage and then your oxygen reading is going to be inaccurate. Usually two to three minutes, you should be able to have this equalized out. How you're gonna know if it is equalized out is when you turn your machine on. When you turn your machine on, you will see that we have different numbers. So you want those numbers to stabilize. So we don't wanna keep seeing them going up and down, up and down. Once they're steady, that's when we can calibrate. So temperature, you kind of want it to be around room temperature. The oxygen, if it is going up and down or just down, wait until it stabilizes and it is not fluctuating anymore. So this is still going down a little bit, so we're just going to take and wait for it to continue going down until it has stopped itself before we actually do the calibration. During this whole process, we are keeping those um, compartment doors open, that way it can air out and equalize. That helps it to stop going up and down. So now that it is stabilized, it's not really going up and down anymore. We're gonna to touch the screen in the oxygen box and that pulls up the oxygen controls. This is where we will touch calibrate oxygen and then we'll touch okay. Once we've hit okay, it should change the concentration to 20.9. 
that is the standard room air concentration of oxygen. Now from here, we can close the chamber and turn oxygen on. The machine is now calibrated and ready for use. One thing to take in consideration, after you've hit that active output, it takes a minimum of eight minutes before this chamber will be at 40% oxygen. Some things that may cause it to be slower is too much um, condensation in the coil, expired soda lime, clogged filters. These are all things that could potentially cause the oxygen concentration to not come up at a steady rate. And so then it will take much longer. It can take up to 20 minutes if the unit is not maintained properly. So this is why we emptied and changed out everything in the B door compartment. That way when we do the calibration, the hope is that within that uh, eight minutes, we can get our unit up to 40% oxygen. Ideally, you would wait the full eight minutes or however long it takes for it to get to 40% oxygen before you open it and place a patient into the chamber. Never calibrate the machine with a patient in the chamber and never calibrate a machine where the oxygen concentration is fluctuating at all because that is going to give you false readings as you use the unit. Thank you and I hope this helped you understand how to calibrate and get the Snyder Intensive Care Unit ready for patient use.